Hey, I get a lot of questions about audio in Final Cut Pro 10, syncing it and everything like that. So right now, I'm not using Pluralize for Final Cut Pro 10. I'm just using a built-in sync because uh, the camera person did a great job of calling out the audio file. And um, all I'm doing is just double-clicking and right-clicking uh, right and syncing. So let's listen to what he said. And this audio is really, really bad. That's from the camera. It's hot. You can even see from the waveform, it's going to come out real hot. Audio file 118. So the first thing he did is call audio file 118. So I'm going to go up here and then listen, file, audio file 118. And once I see that, I see that uh, right here, I see this is a clapper mark to file use. And even if I were to do this manually, it would be very easy because I would hear that, see that audio waveform. So it's real important when you're doing dual system sound, DSLR, use a slate, use something and call out the number, when you do, even if you're doing this by yourself. So very important. So all I did was basically I click right here, and then I click here because I know it's a file, and I'm going to right click, I hit synchronize clips. Uh, for the sake of time, I synchronize the clips, and it is right here. And then, uh, where is he? He's right here. And here is the file. And eight. One thing I love about my mom. All right, it sounds a lot better. And one thing I did do before I even put it on the timeline, I used to put it on the timeline and then break apart clips. Now what I do, I just uncheck one of these files. So if you listen right here, let's listen, let's go back, and let's listen to what he says. And you see how hot it's going to be? It's terrible. And, of course, um, it's I put a voice enhance on here as well. I didn't. The default is flat. So when I put it on flat, you can see the difference, how it sounds. About my mom. Now, there are quite a bit of things, but one thing I love about my mom. Okay. So now let's put a voice enhance uh, filter in here. And then once we put the voice enhance, and this is all in the preview window. I didn't put anything. Well, I put it on a timeline, but I'm not playing anything from a timeline yet. About my mom. Now, there are quite a bit of things, but one thing I love about my mom. Okay, so after I put the voice enhance, you can also look at different graphic equalize and everything like that, and uh, you can go through there. So that's what I do with audio. I'm not going to get into the flat and EQ, the 10 bands, the 31 bands. That's a whole another audio uh, training tutorial I'm going to have to do so you can understand that. But just know this is the advanced options right now. I'm just going to use the voice enhance, and when I do the voice enhance, it automatically uh, does some uh, enhancements here. So what I'm going to do also, you can do audio analysis, I could do the loudness, I could do background noise removal if I want. I see some noise reduced because I had some noise in the background and then I can make it louder if I want. So let's see what we have here. Hospitality. I remember growing up and she would make me... Alright, sounds a little bit uh, not as good like that, so let's What's see. Her gift of hospitality. I'm okay, so that's about right 12 and 6 dB, and that's the way I like to keep my audio, at least my audio waveforms, no uh, more than not to get in the red, of course, but it's doing an okay job. Given away, not a single cake for us to eat. All right, so that's a quick audio tip for you from me, and you can visit our website at webvideochefs.com or uh, at webvideochefs on Twitter. Thanks so much.